Three southwest states, Ekiti, Oyo and Urundu, said on Sunday they would soon sign the Amoteku bill into law. In Ekiti State, the Commissioner for Information, Muiwa Ulumi Lua, said the state governor, Dr. Kaya Defiami, would sign the bill soon. The Speaker, Ekiti State House of Assembly, who corroborated the Commissioner's claim, said the Amoteku bill would be signed by the governor as soon as possible. He said at the meeting in Abado, it was resolved that all the houses would soon pass their own bills into law following the normal process of lawmaking. Ekiti is already on the ground. Our other colleagues will pass their own as well as soon as possible. And definitely the governor's assent, which is the final approval in the law process, will be done. He added that at the meeting of Conference of Speakers in Southwest, it was agreed that all the Southwest House of Assemblies should conduct public hearing on the bill. Plus TV Africa spoke with Barista Emeka Wankwo on the Amotec on the issue. Security is very, very central because uh, our constituent says that the primary purpose of government is the security of lives and property and the welfare of the people. So security is not something that the government or the people should toy with. And uh, it is, uh, they should remove politics completely from the issue of, uh, issue of security because lives are involved. And uh, if you check the present security architecture we have in Nigeria, it's not working. We just have to tell ourselves the truth is not working. So we have to look in, inwards to see what we can do to improve the, the security arrangement. And uh, uh, community policing, uh, people are saying, uh, think, people think that it's a new thing. It's not a new thing. We've always had community policing in Nigeria. Let me give you an instance. In the, in the southeastern states, they have the vigilante services. Every community in the southeast, at least from Anambra state, every community has a vigilante service. And it is community, his community policing. His community policing, every community has a vigilante service. And there's a law, vigilante laws, passed by the state's houses of assembly, assembly. legalizing these vigilante services. There was a time there was a serious issue with respect to kidnapping and, uh, and all whatnot, especially in Anambra State, you understand? But you rarely hear, hear of those things now because of the novel arrangement of uh, having community policing through these uh, vigilante services, working hand in hand with the Nigerian police. Even the, the, the local government police in the First Republic. So if we replicate it now, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. The Honorable Attorney General of the Federation that declared its activities illegal. illegal. Well, my comment on that is that uh, uh, he went back to his closet and found out that uh, he, he acted, maybe he acted, uh, uh, what word will I use? He acted, acted out of fashion or out of tune. You understand? So I won't say that he ate the humble pie. The truth is that you can't stop something when its time has come. The issue of security yes. is on the exclusive legislative uh, list. But the same law says that the governors are the chief security officers of their respective states. So the present constitution we are, we are the present constitution we have needs to be tinkered with. You understand? Uh, good enough, the Senate has inaugurated a constitution amendment committee. They should holistically look at this issue of, uh, of state policing, regional security, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, 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 our national security.